Hi everybody, it's Hope from HopeYoder.com and I want to show you something super duper exciting that's new in Craft and Cut. You asked for it, you got it, so here we go. The new Auto Trace. Welcome to the new fabulous Craft and Cut lineup. As you can see, the Auto Trace creates an outline over areas with similar colors. So let's get started. Over in this area on the left, you have backdrop tool and that's where you're going to bring in poor resolution bad JPEGs and we want to clean them up and vectorize them. So we're going to come over um, and find an image that I snagged off the internet and this little heart will be a good one to work with. So with the heart let me make it a little bit bigger to start with and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it larger and now I'm going to activate the auto trace. Before I do that, if you'll look, you've got very thick lines here. So I don't want to trace on either side of the line. If I select uh, the auto trace and just click, I'll draw a line on the inside and the outside, which is not what I want to do in this case. So I'm going to auto trace, hold down my control key and left click anywhere in this area. Now I'm not clicking on the lines, I'm just clicking over here. Now to get rid of the magic wand, you can just left click on the red select tool. To hide my backdrop, here is the function. So I'm going to hide that image and check out what I've just done. Now let's go ahead and recolorize these. I'm going to right click in my color bar to add the colors that I want to use. So I've got three colors. So let's open up our layers window. I'm going to change both of the top hearts to red. And let's just do this. And these will change to um, those two colors. And what do we have left? Now I've got these, uh, oops hit down control to just select those and now uh, they're already in Niagara perfect now I've got a lot of things open in this layers window so I'll right click and left click to expand all now I'm going to select all of these and let's go ahead and fill them in with color select fill and apply you can see how nice that looks now if you zoom in here Let's look at this one box. That line doesn't look very good. So let's select this. We can unfill it with color to see it better. Here's a little trick that DJ taught me. Thanks DJ. I'm going to pass this along to everyone that owns Craft & Cut. This was such a simple, uh, easy time saver. So I want to straighten up this line. I'm going to activate by left clicking on the shape tool. And let me zoom out here. Now I want to actually just select these nodes that are uh, not uh, straight and hold down the control to deselect anything that you don't want. Now with these, this one line, hovering over a node, right click and left click on line and that clean things up. Let's fill it back in and let's zoom in a little bit to get out of the shape tool click on the red arrow and look how much nicer that line looks now. Thank you so much for that tip. I know you guys are going to love that. Now another thing that you've requested is we're looking at this with filled color by turning the fill on and off in this view window. But now we also have a new icon called outline view only. So this will hide the shape fills. So now you can left uh, come over to the left side of the screen and this is what the cut lines will look like this is what it might look like if you're cutting vinyl or fabric in those colors so you've got options to turn it on or off right here so those are just a couple new things that are in craft and cut where updates are always free